Welcome back to the channel and a really interesting video because it's a question that I ask pretty much more than any other and that is what is the difference between a mini driver and a standard driver both in terms of length of shaft and also loft. So we've got a really interesting experiment. We've got exactly the same shaft, it's a Denali 60 gram stiff shaft. One is 45 and three quarters, that's a full length shaft that you would normally find in a standard driver head. And then we've then got the two inch shorter that you find in the mini driver. And we're basically gonna switch these all around, so different shafts into different driver heads. And let's see what really is the difference between a mini driver and a standard driver. So before we go any further, let's just clarify the loft on these two drivers. I'm gonna use a standard 10 and a half degree head. It's in the Max driver, it's the AI Smoke, the Paradigm AI Smoke. And in the Mini driver, it's 13 and a half degrees. Now, I've been an advocate for long enough that many average golfers should be choosing more loft off the tee, it's always a great help, and the shorter shaft. But I am starting to question myself now, is that actually factually correct? So it's over to TrackMan and uh, give us some important data and just see what is actually happening with these two driver heads. Whilst I look to set this up on TrackMan, maybe you should go down in the comment section below and tell me what your personal findings are. Have you tried a mini driver? Have you tried a shorter shaft? Or do you indeed use a bit more loft? Um, well, I'm going to find out very, very soon. I can outright, I think. Yeah. So outright, not too bad. Uh, 228 carry, launching 17.8. We've got smash factor 1.48, so our club head speed, ball speed ratio is really good. Spin is decent, it's launching really high, and that's something that the, um, well, a 10 and a half degree max head is looking to do. It's gonna help with launch, so perhaps a little bit higher than expected. That 230 carry off my 93 club head speed is likely to be where it's gonna be at, so I'll hit a few more balls with this. But the more interesting point right now, and I say with this, this is the 10 and a half degree head with the full length shaft in. I'm really more interested on dispersion as well as that carry distance. Today's video was filmed at Chester and North Wales Golf Academy. Right, first set of numbers collected. Uh, club head speed averaging 92.3, that's where I'm at realistically out on the golf course, that's what I'm trying to maintain here on Trackman. So just a 222 carry, launching 16.1, which is as I say relatively high, you'd probably look to tweak that a bit. 2691 spin, 96 peak height, smash factory shown as 147, so that's uh, again a real good ratio between ball speed and club head speed, meaning the club is very efficient in my hands. But well, the interesting bit is this, that's what we're looking at down range. If I throw up now the um, dispersion, we've got five balls that I would say are fine in the fairway, and we've got two that are leaked out right. But overall, the control element, five out of seven drives in play is okay. I'm not liking these two, but again, that's a lot to do with my swing characteristics rather than the club. So I'm gonna switch up now, and I'm gonna go right to the opposite end of the scale. I'm gonna to go to the 13 and a half degree head with the shorter shaft. So worth pointing out at this stage, don't forget 13 and a half degree head, exactly the same weight of shaft, but two inches shorter, uh, weight and flex. So it's gonna be really interesting. And obviously the size of head is I think is it 300cc head that they've got in the mini drivers as opposed to 460. So a real big difference and uh, be interesting to see what happens next. Huh. What a start with the mini driver. 220 carry straight down the middle, 16 launch, 25 spin, a smash factor of 1.49. That's already, well, it's not surprising in many ways. It's what I'm expecting to see. I just wanna see how we can maintain this accuracy and whether or not we're gonna see a drop off in ball speed. But the first ball is already a clear indicator as just to how efficient the mini driver could well be. Right, so the first thing for me to mention from a personal level is that as soon as I stood over the mini driver with the shorter shaft, I have to admit I felt a little bit more comfortable just in terms of control and um, it certainly bore out in terms of the numbers. So 
First of all, let's go through them. 222 carry, which I think was, uh, I'll be on screen for you now. I'm thinking that was identical to what we achieved with the standard driver full length shaft. 14 and a half launch, slightly lower. Club head speed, again, from memory, remained pretty consistent. Maybe a little bit down, actually, with the mini driver and that shorter length of shaft. Spin rate, perfect, 2675. Peak height, again, was lower than what we achieved with a normal driver. And that efficiency of 1.49 just shows you just how good this thing is working in relationship to my club head speed. That indication is obviously... It, often to me something that suggests i'm finding the middle of the club face a little bit more with the shorter shaft um, what that dispersion looks like is essentially there's a spread we're in a driver at the end of the day this is a 200 yard uh, 220 yard club but we found a fairway with every single shot i would say what well, is that five are pretty much center down the fairway and we've got two just a little bit down the left but overall i think first of all a lot of control gained and no loss for me in that distance stakes which is quite a surprise often to many we've got one final bit i want to add into this equation and what i want to try is the shorter shaft but with the ten and a half degree head on and let's just see what happens can we gain control but add some distance so just to confirm now we've got a 43.75 shaft going into the ten and a half degree head and uh it's a test that I want to know the answers uh, to this equation probably as much as some of you do. And as I said in the earlier part, if you've tried this equation, if you're on a shorter shaft with your normal driver, then uh, let me know. A lot of people are asking me the question about the ability to, rather than cut down a driver, why can you not just choke down on it? And I think that's perhaps another video that I'd like to see what actually happens. What is the difference between choking down on driver or, or using a shorter shaft? So that's another one for another day. For now, 10 and a half degree head, shorter shaft. Let's see what happens. Should we go for it? Yeah. Right, let's stick around for first ball reaction. First thing, prefer the, prefer the shorter shaft. And that looks good. That 460 head. On 36 ball speed, right down the middle. 227 carry, which I think is possibly the longest carry of the day on any setup we've had so far. And it's right down the middle. We'll carry on it in some more. Could this be the ultimate combination? Wow, we've got a combination on our hands here. <laughs> Still maintaining the club head speed around 92.6 that time and a 230 carry and uh, pretty much center stripe. It's allowing me to be, feel like I'm quite aggressive with the swing, plenty of confidence and that bigger head, oddly enough, is providing that confidence attached to that shorter shaft. I really am quite surprised that's now the fourth ball hit and the numbers are really really interesting a couple more and then uh, big reveal right okay so um quite surprised in many ways are the numbers that we're looking at um and like i said a test that i've been wanting to do for some time and should have done it earlier but it really does tell a tale for me uh let's go with the numbers straight away like we did with the previous sets 228 carry Again, I'm working on memory, but we're six yards extra. We were 222 with the other, 16.9 launch. Good launch number. Um, again, we've got this 149 smash factor. So what we've done using the shorter shaft, in my opinion, it suggests that we've maintained the control, finding the center of the club face is what I mean by that. So our club head speed, which again has remained very consistent, whichever shaft I've had, had in hand has not really altered. So a 92 club head speed, a 137 ball speed is incredibly efficient. But the interesting bit for me was that we've, made, we've, we've managed to get a spin number of 2000 RPM. So not only are we seeing a good carry distance, but that balance between spin, launch and the carry is resu resulting in a suggested rollout total of 255. So the combination of putting all those um, data parameters together has meant this is a really effective setup. And one, like I said, that has uh, come as perhaps a little bit of a surprise, but um, ultimately 
like I've already said, I suppose, I'm sort of going, trying to sort of process this as I'm talking to you, is it's definitely proven to me that shorter shaft in driver head is without doubt the way most average golfers should be looking to go. So if you get the opportunity to try it at a custom fit, then please give it a go. And don't just be guided by the two or three shots that you might hit out the screws. Have a look at the consistency number. What are you actually achieving in terms of that dispersion control and how much you're giving up by using that shorter shaft and in this case we've not actually gave up anything we've gained and we've gained considerable amounts just by ensuring that we're finding the center of the club face more often so i hope you enjoyed that one another interesting experiment indoors here at chester and north wales golf academy it's uh, an incredible facility it's absolutely peeing down outside and how good is this to uh, get you this kind of information every week and uh, it's these kind of videos i'll be looking at like i said choking down on driver as opposed to the shorter shaft maybe an experiment uh, for the coming weeks as ever thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon